will I mod it or not? I don't know. I, I, I like it as is. We'll see. Uh, maybe just, like I said, an Alice frame, but I don't think I'll ever, you know, just touch the pack. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm touching the pack. It's just too beautiful. shit myself <laughs> hey what's up guys boys and girls fellow collectors from all around the world Ivan Seb the French collector is back for yet another video, guys. Fourth video uh, with this uh, amazing Hasbro Proton Pack. So, you know how it is, guys. It's always the same. First, I said, well, I'm not touching the pack. It's too beautiful. You know, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. I'm not touching the pack. And then in the second video, I said, well, you know what, M maybe Maybe I'll just change a couple screws and that sleeve, but, but no more, no more. But, you know, as I kept, I've had this thing for like three weeks now. So every day I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, you know, maybe I could also just change this little detail and that one. And now I have a whole list of things that, that I want to do. So to do this, I uh, saved tons of um, movie stills, you know, screen captures that I keep in my uh, laptop, as well as tons of uh, close-up pictures showing tons of details of um, the, the screen use pack, the, the hero um, Phoebe pack. And I also have this uh, very nice book, uh, The Art and Making of the Movie, Ghostbusters Afterlife, that, contain, that contains quite a few pictures that will be helpful, I'm sure. Something that I've said many, many times in the past is there is no such thing as 100% screen accuracy. It, even if you're the best modder out there, even if you had the screen use proton pack sitting right next to you it's impossible to get 100 percent screen accuracy however you can still get as close as possible so we'll just see how things go um i want to start with one thing one mod that so far as of today nobody has done yet i haven't seen it not to my knowledge uh, which is quite surprising to me because it's the first thing that I noticed when I unboxed the pack and I thought, well, if I'm gonna mod it, it's the first thing I'm gonna do. So I'll show you, um, actually, let me show you a video before and you'll see what I'm talking about. First mod. So here's a video on YouTube that's uh, 10 years old already. This man here, uh, the, the channel is Movie Prop Collector and this man is presenting us a screen used um, proton pack from the first Ghostbuster. Now listen to what he says. We had a person come in today who would actually visited the Sony archives and he explained to me on a bit by bit level the all of the nuances and why this is and he actually identified this as being Egon Spengler's actual proton pack which that was played by harold ramus and he was the one who actually built these things you know supposedly on the, in the uh, fictional universe of ghostbusters but you know in particular you know just a couple of glaring things here that you can tell is that these are a little bit offset as, as opposed to being side by side this particular nuance identified this as egon spengler spengler in addition okay so and they actually did it on the Afterlife Proton Pack. This wire goes all the way up. It's sitting next to that screw on the right here. So we're going to move this. And we're going to get rid of this little thing here. And re-sculpt one here. And this, if it's cut, I don't know, I guess the wire will hide it. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure I'll be able to match the exact paint job, but
but maybe we can at least uh, make it less obvious with a bit of uh, weathering later on. So anyway, let's start. This is a Dremel that I kept from my old job. You can control it with your foot. The speed. I'm just gonna cut up the excess with a box cutter. And we should be good to go. So this is how it looks like now. I don't want to start sanding it with sandpaper because then I'm going to fuck with the area around it. Um, I'll try to improve it a bit later. Like I said, we can hide this with a bit of weathering, but for the moment, uh, it's okay. So let's move on. So what I did now is I shoved some of that um, epoxy in there. So it should take the perfect shape. We're just gonna wait now a couple minutes. It gets hard really fast, like five minutes tops. So, let's see how this looks like. Hard as stone in like, what, maybe six, seven minutes, I, I don't know. I'm here, perfect. So I'm gonna send now the excess and that will be great. This thing is so small and so light, I don't even think I'll have to screw it on there. Uh, I'll see later once I remove the motherboard in the back, but for the moment I'm just going to use a tiny bit of hot glue and leave this on here. Now, a lot of these um, wires and cables, their um, ends, their connectors are made of black rubber, black plastic. Uh, whereas in the movie they are, well not all of them, but most of them have a brass color so i'll take care of all of these a bit later but since i just started working on this cable right here um i'm just gonna do this one now and to do this um i'm gonna use this i don't know how this is called it's some kind of wax that you can also use on furniture or whatever to, to just weather what does it say in english um fast drying metal gloss paint but it's not really paint it's actually wax but anyway let's try it So it doesn't need to be applied perfectly because at the end of the day, it's supposed to be weathered already. So if there's still black showing through, it's not a big deal. Okay, I don't wanna put too much. We can, I can always add a bit more later, but uh, yeah, this looks just fine. So, so done, well done, not completely done actually, because I want to add real uh, electrical tape around it, but, the one I have is a bit too light, so I'm gonna try to find a different one, but at least now you can tell the difference. This is definitely now a Spangler pack. Mine actually even sits a bit too high now than what it's supposed to be, but it's okay, I really wanted to make it obvious. So now we can move on to the next mod. I already ordered an accurate Ghostbusters 1 ribbon cable. Uh, I haven't received it yet. But once I do, I'm gonna weather it and uh, change this. So this is gonna go. But for now, today, I'm going to replace this uh, yellow sleeve and this cable here by the accurate stuff. So first of all, I really wanna send a big shout out to my brother over there in the UK, Vincenzo DeAngelis, who sent me the screen accurate sleeve, which I couldn't find here in France. So I'm gonna install this. This uh, spiral sleeve here, I checked, I don't know how many stores, and I always found that same kind of spiral, which is is great, but it, the one in the movie spirals in the other way. So I checked everywhere, couldn't find one, so I'm just gonna have to go with this for now. And if I do find the right spiral someday, I will change it. Now, before I start working on the loom, guys, let me just show you this very quickly. A few minutes ago when I said it's impossible to achieve 100% screen accuracy, well, this is the perfect example of what I meant. This is the Hero Pack, screen use pack, worn by Phoebe in the movie. And I never paid attention before, it just occurred to me right now that this is actually a Ghostbusters 2 ribbon cable, whereas in the movie, it's a Ghostbusters 1 1984 ribbon cable. So obviously before filming started, they took this off and changed it 
to a 1984 ribbon cable. Now, if they change this, what guarantee do I have that they also didn't change, for example, other details such as the wires inside that loom? So what I'll just do is, you know, I'll just use this picture. Here we have at least a blue wire, two white wires. There's a green one, there's a red one and some kind of an orangish brownish wire so let's start i'm not going through all of this shit just to remove those wires here incredible but anyway let's do this that cable and the sheath are now out and we can start working on the real thing. Ribbon cable is out and it's just gonna stay like this until I get the accurate one. And this is the one we don't need, but I'm gonna save this part. I'm gonna cut this right off. Well, we're gonna try to um, make it hollow. Now comes the time to put this sheath around it. Oh my God. Works just fine. It works just fine. So finally I found the right shade of blue. So this goes back in the box. This is the one I use here. So now I'm gonna add some real tape everywhere on the pack to replace that sculpted fake tape here here also here but this isn't even supposed to be black it's um, some kind of a olive tape Okay hey guys, now there's something else that I want to try and this time it's a bit more uh, risky. This cable here, yes it's blue, but in the movie it's definitely a more vibrant, more flashy kind of blue. Even with the weathering, it almost matches the mm, color of that blue electrical tape over there. Uh, another thing is that this cable here is black when it should be same kind of blue so i bought this might be a bit complicated because this one is quite uh, stiff
with you. Look at that. I thought I would uh, have to glue it, but actually, no, it's a perfect fit in these two holes that I drilled. Freaking beautiful. Now it's gonna be more tricky in this area because this cable is like this is the original one that was black, and this one is really stiff, you see. And here we're gonna have this twist, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway because these two. Uh, cables the color needs to match so we'll see what a challenge because because this one I mean look at this it's um, I have an idea okay I have an idea oh, no. I love it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hair dryer and heat this a little bit. Try to give it an S shape. This is looking beautiful. Just compare again with the original color, man. Come on. Just gonna weather this a bit now. Whole thing is now weathered. <clears throat> Yo, man, this is looking really nice. And I'm not even close to being finished. But for today, I guess it's time for a break. Another day, another day, guys. So, here it is. Let's start. So what are we gonna do today? So today I'm going to add this copper tape that you see here. I'm going to add it all around these little copper wires. Then we have these little clamps here that I bought that I'm gonna add as well. So finish for this part, this was not too complicated because these two pop out. It'll be much more complicated down here because these do not pop out. But yeah, I uh, painted these, well, I colored these with a black marker first, then weathered them with a bit of silver um, rubbing buff, added the copper tape, added this. Here it's a bit more difficult because again, th these parts are not removable. This one goes inside of the pack, see? So I cut these, I'll do the same here, uh, added the clamps, and then now I'm gonna re-glue this with a bit of hot glue and put the clamp right on top of where the glue is to hide it. So I ended up using super glue. Uh, so I'm gonna let it dry for the moment. In the meantime, I'm just going to paint these black, color these, I don't know, it's not paint. I think I'm gonna have to remove the clipper valve because um, it gets in the way, makes things too complicated. So I hope it's not held by nuts in the back. So again, it doesn't need to look perfect. It needs to look weathered. So I'm gonna let it dry, add a bit of that uh, silver rubbing buff. Still not finished, but in the process of doing this, I removed this and I thought, you know what, let's get rid of these two um, screws and I replaced them with these. Wow. 
voila absolutely beautiful i'm very satisfied how this turned out it was a pain in the it was it really was but um yeah it's done for now added the clamps here as well so again i had to cut this uh wire here to put the clamp in it and then glue it back on but it is now finished fantastic okay guys i am way too excited i just got back from work and i found this in the mailbox it is midnight 15 but this cannot wait till tomorrow i'm not sleepy anyways so i bought this from tgb cablery seller on etsy named jordan oldham really nice guy i talked with him a bit we exchange a few messages and here it is guys can you see this oh my god so this wasn't cheap but wow what the quality so this is the accurate 1984 ribbon cable from the first movie proton pack i am over the moon i mean this is going to be the main thing on this pack if you don't have this your pack is incomplete so um wow again the quality is really it's freaking amazing so let me i guess now it's time to remove the cable on this um on this pack and actually before i start working on this i want to compare this ribbon cable to this one and you can see the difference what i'm talking about it's like night and day so actually let me remove this so I have a feeling that <clears throat> this mod is gonna probably gonna be the most difficult one. Feels quite challenging, especially after seeing what happened to Adam Savage when he did his on his pack. But uh, yeah, let's try it. But before, let me try to compare these two. Actually, what I want to do now is try to clean off a bit of this weathering to see its real color, and then we can compare it. Give me a few minutes. I'll be back. So I used a bit of acetone to uh, clean this. So here is the original collar. It's very thin and still those are real wires. I mean, here you can see there's a bit of the, still a bit of copper threads left inside, see? But anyway, compare now this to this. I mean, if, if you're gonna have a proton pack, this is the ribbon cable you want. I mean, there's no two ways about it. This is beautiful. So it's gonna be quite the challenge to have this fit in this clamp. Jeez. But anyway, let's start because there's no proton pack without a ribbon cable. Finally, I got one of these little guys out. Okay, I think I got it. Boom. Okay, so this is what it looks inside. Gonna try not to damage the springs. And now, take this out. Damn, that cable is glued as well. But, okay. So, this we don't need yeah i don't know i have a bad feeling about this but anyway i i bought it now so gotta try to do my best
got so frustrated with this damn ribbon cable last night that I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start by today by doing something else. So last week I did these two screws. So today I did these. I couldn't find them in black, but uh, when the time comes, I will uh, repaint them, weather them, add a bit of a rusty effect. But yeah, now the time has come to start working on this again. Let's not give up. This has to work. It has to work. I'm willing this to work. Okay. Jeez. I really have no clue what I'm doing. So we're gonna leave this here for the night, let it dry, but if this doesn't work, uh, I don't know, it'll be a fucking massacre. <sighs> Shit. <clears throat> no, it, it truly breaks my heart that I have to do this, but it's time to weather it now. I don't want to do it too much. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it as is now and once it's twisted and installed on the pack I can always improve the weathering a bit because I really don't want to hide these beautiful colors man. Okay so the moment I feared most we're gonna have to open this pack again to attach all these things inside. Damn it I hate doing that. I hate doing that but while we're at it, um, if I'm gonna open this now, I'm gonna try to replace this lens with uh, this uh, food container lid that I bought yesterday. We're gonna see if it uh, works well. Oh, Bill Murray here. Okay, let's try. <laughs> let's try it. I'm gonna replace this with a real clamp, but uh, I don't have it right now. So for the moment, I'm still gonna use this one temporarily. I'm gonna repaint these now. Pizza is live, guys. So, took out the batteries, removed all the damn screws. Time to open this bitch up again. This is scary as hell. I hate doing that. I hate doing that. <sighs> Shit. Nearly shit myself. <laughs> First, let's try to remove this and fix those damn lights. So it was one, two, three, four screws. Take this out. Then an additional two in here. So we're gonna try now to take this out. I'm not sure. Maybe there are more. Maybe there are more. Yeah, so actually it's this whole part with the tubes that come out and let me tell you guys removing these two that was a nightmare but anyway it should work now okay okay here are the LEDs and this is the lens we're gonna try to replace oh it comes in two parts good with this. this again geez okay everything is now reassembled now we still cannot check 
how those lights look now because now it's time to install the ribbon cable and I fear this is gonna be yet another nightmare because that hole is very very narrow but yeah careful that um, none of these wires get cut and cut by some piece of plastic or something. Well guys, that was a very productive day. I'm so happy. This is beautiful. I freaking love it. It's so nice and this this took me like three hours because the entire uh, disassembling of the pack and then I used this but it still wouldn't sit flush against the plastic here so I had to sacrifice some of these plastic stands and cut one to the perfect measurement to put inside and to press that blue plastic against the outer shell. So we have a layer of blue plastic and a layer of this in there. Damn, but it is so beautiful. And I love, I absolutely love how with this new ribbon cable, you can see the blue LEDs through it. This is freaking beautiful. Let me switch off the light. Damn. So. We're getting closer to being done, but we're still not completely done. What's up guys, another week has passed. Back at the workshop here. This time we're gonna fix these right here to replace that plastic clamp. Boom, what a hell of a difference. This is looking so much better than this plastic clamp that was already starting to give way, as you can see. Okay, now comes the part where I'm gonna mod this hose right here this is the thing i like least on this pack i think those sculpted wires here that was kind of lazy i found this hose right here this is actually very bendy so what i'm gonna do is use this and i'm gonna completely redo this hose and if i have some left i'll also use it for this one but this will be in a separate video i will mod the wand and that complete hose in a different video for now i'm just gonna focus on the pack Now, just out of curiosity, let's see what the original hose was made of. So we have a piece of fake, this is supposed to be uh, electrical tape. It's just a piece of plastic. Yeah, exactly. So this here is actually a hard piece of plastic, see? So it, was, it, it wasn't hollow like the rest of the tube. So we're gonna cut the exact length that we need so it goes like this up to here so i got the right length however i need to give this a shape here and that's gonna be yet another challenge first of all there's something else. In the movie, this is a split loom, and here it's not. So we're gonna split it. And we now have a split loom. Looks nice. Let's try it with the wand on because the wand will get in the way for sure. So, okay. so 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 where is it oh there it was there it was so there it was so i have an idea now this definitely isn't gray this looks more white and here it looks like the paint rubbed off i can see a bit of silver so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this 
compared to the rest of the hose, it seems to be the right size. I'm gonna paint it white. And in there, I'm gonna put a wire in there that will help me give it the shape I need. I'm gonna sacrifice a hanger. And I'm gonna put it in there. This looks amazing already. I might not even have to repaint it. Where is the hose? Okay. Yeah, so it's starting to look good, you see? I mean, it's taking the shape already, look. Just need to work it a little bit more. Damn, this is looking so good. I wanted to repaint this white, but it looks so much better actually like this. So we're gonna add a bit of electrical tape right here. definitely approaching the end of this project so today we're gonna replace these screws down there damn some of these are hard to take out now I'm also gonna change the screws on the sides here and maybe that's gonna be a bit tricky but maybe i'm gonna put a real screw instead of that plastic one here so i removed that little piece i'm gonna have to shorten it damn it mm. check this out guys Boom. Great. Anyway, now I just realized that on that side of the pack, right next to the V hook, is a screw that's not on this pack, but they probably forgot it because there is actually a hole, but there is no screw. So we're going to add one right here as well. Beautiful, we're gonna let them dry now. Hmm, I love the smell of paint. I love it. Screwing them in while they're not completely dry is what's gonna give them a bit of that weathered look, you know? Like little scratches. I love it. I love it. So just right now I had one last idea for today. These little fake rubber screws. I just drilled a hole through the rubber into the pack and uh, I'm gonna add real uh, screws here too. Here and if possible here as well. So this is a beautiful uh, little Sunday morning mod. Obviously this is not the real piece. This is still the rubber um, resistor, but well, maybe one day I'll get a real one, but for now it'll, it'll, it'll do. Uh, I'm still gonna add a little piece on top of it that has a piece called, there's a little metal piece on top of it that we're gonna do right now. This looks like absolute garbage, but it's my first one. I'm running out of time, so I'm moving on, but I will do a better one later. At least you get the idea. Um, so yeah, we still have a lot of things to do. The um, lights. Uh, 
I just put the light on my phone to its minimum just so that you can see these three LEDs everybody keeps complaining about. Now, people took apart the cyclotron cover, tried all kinds of things. I'm just gonna try a sheet of tracing paper. See? Let's put it against it. And that's just one sheet. Now this is looking like some kind of a zombie pack shit now. <laughs> okay, so. good okay we still see the LEDs in there but I'm not finished obviously I think I found a better idea I was gonna put this first but actually the original lens that was outside we're gonna now leave it inside and cover it with the new black lens so in case I come up with a better idea in the future I didn't want to glue them permanently I sealed all four lenses with um, black electrical tape this is gonna look good. The moment of truth. So one last time, if I haven't said it before, three layers of tracing paper and then the red lenses. And now this, so let me reassemble everything. That's it guys, black lens mode and the lights with that uh, tracing paper in there it looks freaking fabulous obviously on video you're still always gonna see a lighter hue in the middle in the center of each lens but that's what i'm seeing on my screen right now but in person with my own eyes it looks fantastic it looks so much better that's beautiful um so a disaster almost happened while I was putting this back together, I tightened those screws in there a bit, well, a bit, a lot, actually, way too tight. And they almost came back out in the front, see? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> but that's not a big deal. I mean, it gives my pack a bit of character. I might still be able to sand it or maybe drill this, put some epoxy, repaint it. It's really not a big deal at all. This will disappear. I'm going to make it disappear. But not tonight. Uh, at least now I'm done. Let's put this back in afterlife mode. So, a few days have passed. And I was quite happy with what I did. But one just keeps learning every day, right? I could have sworn that these lenses were black. I watched the movie like a dozen times now. I've, watched, I've seen hundreds of pictures you know and videos of the screen used proton pack but this week i re-watched this video on youtube that i watched several times already and for the first time it dawned on me that the lenses <laughs> are indeed red they appear blank because the proton pack in the movie the screen used proton pack is a mechanical has a mechanical cyclotron which means that Unlike this one, the lenses appear red because the LEDs and all the circuitry is right behind it. Whereas in the movie, there's only one light bulb that keeps turning. So it's really deep. There's nothing behind those lenses, which makes them appear black. Also the weathering and all. So, you know, my first thought was I can just, you know, keep what I did, just invert them, right? I had the black lens in front of the red one. I can just put now the red lens black uh, back in front of the, the, the black one. But I want to try something else. So I picked up this picked up this thing. And I picked up a couple boxes of those famous chocolate candies. 
So I'm not sure that'll work, but I'm gonna try something now. So that's one, two, three, four. I just uh, cleaned them a bit. Um, and now we're gonna cut this out because at the end of the day, it is still a darker black than those Blu-ray cases that I cut out. Also that Blu-ray plastic is clear, whereas this has some kind of um, texture, which might help to diffuse the light better. Okay, I'm done. So I really love that uh, dark cherry red color. That's beautiful. And what I like is, after all, this is a very crappy quality um, kind of plastic, but it works fine on this because after all, this pack is supposed to be old and weathered and beaten up so you have these little scratches in there which is beautiful so now we're gonna add these on top on a tracing paper still using electrical tape when it comes to the lights I don't want to do anything that's permanent okay let's try it out I think I did it damn so from a certain distance, under most angles, it looks almost pitch black, but if you pay close attention or under direct light, you will see that it's dark red, but from here, it looks, that I love it. This is my favorite now, I love it. And of course, if we switch on the lights, I almost hit myself again. <laughs> So I'm trying to play with the light settings on my phone again to give you a more realistic look, more accurate look as what, I, what I'm seeing with my naked eye. And uh, this is pretty much what you see now is pretty much what I see with my eyes. It's freaking fantastic. So today we need to take care of the iron arm because as everybody knows, it's supposed to have two screws that are missing. Now the challenge is that Damn, this is the challenge. You can drill through this because this gets in the way. Ah, <sighs> damn, so how are we gonna do this? So first we're gonna get rid of um, these pegs here, these as well. This needs to be smooth, just like that. Boom. So I hope this works because now there's no going back. <laughs> Okay, so because these two screws holding these two pieces together are now gone, I'm gonna at least, I'm not sure it's gonna help a lot, but I'm gonna at least try to secure it as much as possible with a lot of electrical tape. This might not work actually indeed because where I'm gonna drill here, there are already two holes in the back. So I will fill these holes with epoxy first and then drill in the epoxy but um well, let's try it okay guys i put some epoxy in, in there and on here as well i removed these two screws in there just in case they get in the way when i drill yeah we're gonna let this cure overnight and uh 
keep working on it tomorrow morning. So, mm, okay, damn, hard as stone. Now we're going to um, sand it. Okay, so far so good. Now we need to drill this piece with a wider drill bit to make room for the screw hands <clears throat> so i thought i was gonna have to cut this <laughs> but it looks like i might not have to it looks like it could work leaving the piece leaving that rod in one piece let's try it <clears throat> Here and there in the mothers groups, uh, I hear, yeah, you gotta buy a custom iron arm, you know, you can't just drill through this because of the rod inside and blah, blah, blah. Well, you can. That rod goes through here in one piece and I drill through it. So it's flush. Great. Beautiful. Now, today's job will be to find a way to hide these three screws, which are not supposed to be there, but I don't want to do it again permanently, you know, add a epoxy, whatever, repaint it, because just in case, I want to keep access to the screws. You never know. So, where is it? I bought a piece of styrene that I'm going to have to cut to the exact uh, measurements of this piece. Was done with this pack I, I should be done by now but turns out there is one last minute thing something that i didn't plan on doing and that i'm gonna do after all the more i look at these wires the less i like them because especially in this area they're supposed to be separate individual wires turns out all of these are molded into one piece of plastic which gives it some you know kind of a toyish look since this movie came out everybody has been referring to these wires as copper wires you heard me earlier in this video i call them copper wires myself because after hearing so many people over the last few months calling them copper wires over and over and over again i just assumed that they were indeed copper wires however i'm here to tell you today that they are not these wires that everybody has been calling Copper wires are actually just regular wires. And you can see it on this picture where actually there is something written on the sheath of the sleeving on that, of that wire. Those are just regular brown electrical wires. I found these little terminals here. There's tons of them, gotta find the right size. And I bought this wire color looks pretty good. Now look at this damn mess. Now, this is what it looks like now. I don't understand why they just couldn't do it like here. But uh, anyway, we're gonna have to fill all of this now with epoxy. Let it 
here now harden overnight uh, and then I'm gonna sand it you know level it and then I will add a styrene disc on top of it kind of like I did it over here I'm gonna do the same here I almost forgot about these four screws I'm gonna take care of these now while the epoxy is drying I guess this will do. Um, smooth like a peach. Here it is. So let's try it with the valve on. Looks pretty good. So now we want to give it that texture here. So we're gonna take a very thick grain type of uh, sandpaper and I would say that looks fucking nice. <laughs> Pretty good. So not all of these wires are brown. There are two black wires here. And these go into a hole in the back. There's a hole in the pack. Same on the other side of the clipper valve. Again, two black wires here that go into a tiny little hole in the pack. So we're gonna have to drill two additional holes in there. And we're gonna start by these black wires actually. Also, because I'm all about the little details, uh, I don't like those uh, connectors, those terminals, because they are a bit squarish down there. So I'm gonna dremel them to give them a rounded shape, kind of like those in the movie. Also put a little tiny little bit of silver paint on it. This is beautiful. <laughs> God, guys, I had a very, very close call. I just realized right now that I almost drill in one of the wires of the pack, one of the electric wires in there. There's a black one and a red one. I just pushed them to the side now. Luckily, everything still works. I barely touched them. Holy sh So these two are now sorted. 15 more to go. I still took the risk to drill the second hole. Look at this. So you gotta be extremely, extremely careful when you drill this. Okay, so both wires going into that lower hole are both black, so we can just take one and bend it. 
It looks like this, see? Why well, put two wires? We can just do it in the one time. Okay, then we have this second one here, which is brown. Goes all the way up and is linked to this one right here. I'm fucking done! <sighs> Guys, when I was a kid, every time I wanted to play Ghostbusters, um, I was always Peter Venkman. He's always been my favorite. My Proton Pack back in the day was a regular backpack, and my Neutronamond was just a wooden stick, you know, or a plastic tube, whatever. Back in the day, my biggest dream was to own a real one, a real proton pack. Someday, thanks to Hasbro, this dream has now come true. Now, don't get me wrong, the Hasbro proton pack right out of the box, especially for that price, is amazing. Now, this, this is something else now. Um, that was a real labor of love, guys. Is my proton pack finished now? I would say it is 90% finished. Obviously, I still need to weather it, but I'm not gonna do this in one day. You know, every time I have a bit of free time on my hands, I'm gonna do a different area every day. 10 minutes some day, 15 minutes another day, till I'm done weathering it. I will mod the one and a hose in a different video. The, the one at this point is pretty much untouched. It's still the stock Neutronamon. I'm gonna order a couple clipper valves. I'm gonna add one on the one, and the other one I will put on the pack. There is the heat sink here that I will mod. I will also try to come up with a good idea, just make it, my, build it myself. When I make that video about the wand and the hose, you will get to see probably my um, homemade heat sink. Then probably there will be yet another video uh, in which I will mod the interior of the Cyclotron, you know, repaint it, add wires, maybe add even LEDs, lights. We shall see. I'm not in a hurry. The main thing now is done, and I'm really, really happy how things turned out. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I think this is probably going to be the longest video in my YouTube history. So if you watch this entirely, thank you guys and stay tuned. Like I said, in the future, Cyclotron mod, weathering heat sink, um, hose and neutrona one. So you will get to see this. I will post updates on my YouTube and on my Instagram. Thank you guys. Cheers. Ha 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 ha!